Okay. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm really like a dig I'm digging this color. This, okay, you can see behind me is what the color looked like before. See? Is that, oh. This is an eyesore blue. And what I'm looking at now is uh, something totally different. I was more into the earth tones and um, this this paint color here behind me is uh, from the previous owner and we just it was a catch-all bedroom uh, and like I've got my as you can see I've got my computer and it's it's a bloody mess uh, but uh, over the past week I've been cleaning it out getting rid of stuff purging and uh, you know cleaning up some of my stock and um, so I've decided to paint and change it and it was the blue uh, created a um, it was it was even though it's a brighter blue um, it was still uh, it still felt heavy and dark so now I've done two walls so now what I'm doing is this it's a beautiful light gray it's called fog and it's from Pittsburgh paint and I am just loving it because it's going to brighten the room uh, a lot more. And um, it's, uh, it's going to be a different style of uh, bedroom that I'm, I'm planning on doing. And um, this is going to be a guest room. And uh, there are times when uh, Scott likes to stretch out on, the, on our bed. <laughs> and the dogs so i've got no room and then plus two i get bloody hot so uh you know if, if need be at times if i just want to get away from everything and uh, like the dogs and that then i can come in here and, and sleep for the for the night uh but uh yeah this is the color see like i've already prepped the uh walls i mean uh, i did the uh i patched this was actually jessica's old bedroom and uh, she she made a bloody mess in here with all her uh, posters and stuff like that. So I'm getting getting kind of excited. And uh, so yeah, this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be you know doing uh, a few uh, a few videos on what I'll be doing uh, because it's I'm not just painting the bedroom. Um, I'm, uh, I'm also painting some other things, uh, to go with the, the bedroom. Uh, and, uh, so I'm, and I'm hoping I'm gonna, you know, uh, kind of get, get it right. Uh, cause I've been doing a lot of research and I've been doing a lot of looking and I know, I know the theme I want to go with doesn't mean it's going to happen, but we'll see. But yeah, so it's going to be lighter and brighter. I love this color. I'm really loving this color. Well, okay, so now I'm swinging my way around. Uh, and the paint job, I've started doing this wall. So, I mean, i got to be careful I don't step on this. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm doing this right now. Just over the... Uh, over the window and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move move my ladder and I wanna continue underneath. Now, cutting in is not one of the easiest things. You gotta have a steady hand and I don't have a super steady hand, but what I do have is sort of like a, a guide so what you're going to do is you're going to lay your, your paint below where you're supposed to be cutting in and then just start gliding and work your way in and continue to work your way in. And you're just going to use the tip. That's what I do. This is something my dad taught me and how to, how to cut in properly and, and so forth. But uh, 
And basically that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna stretch it out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna see, you can see I'm leaving a, just like maybe two inches from the, from the bottom of the, of the casing uh, down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roller the rest. Now I'll be doing the baseboards, but I'll do them, I'll do them afterwards. So, uh, but you know, just take your time and uh, you know, you, I can go either way. I can go left or right. It doesn't, doesn't matter for me. And I, uh, I find it actually easier to go either or actually, uh, just depends. I can even do it left-handed. So, and it's, it's quite interesting, but I mean, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I mean, I'm cutting in as, and as you can see, I'm trying to get as close to the casement as possible to cover up this blue. And that's exactly, and if you have to go over it a couple of times, then so be it. I mean, it's not a professional job. I mean, I don't, I don't pretend to be a professional. And if you need to load up your paintbrush again, then you load up your paintbrush again. But uh, usually what you can do is you can use the casement as a guide. And you're not gonna get it like on the first, uh, on the first pass, like the first coat. But, you know, as long as the majority of it's covered up, then you're good to go. And this is this is what I do. I mean, it's it's not rocket science, but uh, you know, you want to take your you want to take your time, like not like a turtle's time, but you you don't want to rush yourself. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Is I'm not rushing, but I'm I'm doing long, deliberate strokes. You know, and. Uh, getting it started and then working my way into towards the casement. You can see that it's pretty darn good. I've got it pretty good in there. And that's that's how you cut in. And I mean, I cut in around the window and then uh, along the ceiling, it's the same. It, you treat it the same way. It's just backwards because uh, well, it's kind of backwards because you're going above and this is this is below, so. But yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so basically, okay, now that I've cut in, cut in all the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my roller up underneath the window casing and I'm just going to roll as close as I can, but not right up against it because what, you're, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep a wet edge and because uh, you don't want to roll over dry uh, paint but that's fine you know if it dries over then it dries over there's not much you can do but basically what you want to do is you want to try and keep a wet edge so I'm going as close to the casement and rolling because you don't want to really you don't want to see brush strokes or anything like that but this being the first coat um, you'll definitely, you know, not have complete coverage, but this paint, uh, it's Pittsburgh paint and I've always, uh, I've always painted with Pittsburgh paint. Uh, for the most part, my dad was a, uh, uh, a paint expert when, uh, just before he retired, it was a second career cause he used to be a barber and he's the one that taught me all about what, what you need to do and plus trial and error and so forth because I mean you can't expect to get it like right off the hop uh, unless you're really good at it and some people have that natural knack but uh, yeah so you want to keep a wet edge and you you go like this with the roller you don't do, do this because then it's going to cause you some problems you want to have a nice little edge like like that with uh, with no interference when you're uh, rolling and you just do it nice and easy on top 
but then you can go a little bit more freehand and go la di da normally you're gonna do zigzag you're gonna go up down and up so you're basically forming an N and then you're gonna work your way back and you're gonna work in that uh, that paint into each other so that it uh, gives you a nice even coat and you don't want to over roll uh, you don't want to continuously keep going over what you've done uh, because then you're just going to make blobs and clots and stuff like that. So you don't want that. So yeah, so basically that's what you do. Okay, well, okay. This has been uh, day one. Uh, as you can see, I've moved all my stuff, some of the junk in my bedroom. And I've got this wall done. And I needed uh, Scott to give me a hand moving our desk away from the wall so I can finish this. And uh, I still have just a little bit of cutting in to do and down here. Uh, so I'll be finishing that. Um, I'll probably end up doing the, this, this wall uh, later on this afternoon because I am taking a trip to the city so that I can actually go and buy uh, some things that I need for makeover. So, um, like, this is going to be over a period, like, my makeover, that is. It's going to be over a period of, uh, you know, a couple weeks and so forth because, uh, you know, I've got to move things out. I've got to decide what I'm doing for a rod uh, like I'm gonna have uh, panels on either side of this window and um, a curtain of some sort uh, I've got a rough idea about what I want and but uh, like I'm not gonna get rid of the shade because this shade here is um, it's room darkening and it's 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 great I love having it but like I say I'm gonna finish doing this wall um and finish off the the paint this is actually the first coat and then i can get going on the second coat because you can see like it's covered like this 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 paint here it's covered fairly well uh like you can you can't really see too much uh coming through but you can hear in here a bit uh but this is a primer sealer paint in one and I've I've used this type of paint before with the primer uh, sealer and paint in one, and it's worked out beautifully. Uh, I actually did it in my in my bedroom. Um, so uh, I'm going to it, like in my master bedroom that is. Uh, so uh, it's it's great. It seals stains if you can't get like wash the walls and you can't get the stains out and so forth. So yeah, I I really really like that. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a, a light second coat because usually this, this particular brand and type of paint, um, it only requires one coat, but in, in most cases it requires one coat, but because of the, the color of my, my walls previously, um, the blue, I mean, I'm going to need to do, uh, a, a thinner, uh, second coat. Okay, all done with the painting. So, now I just have to do a bit of touch-ups, second coat, and that is it. It is looking good. It is looking very, very good. It kind of looks beige, but it's actually a gray. See, you can see, it's gray. <sighs> Everything's heaped up in the center of my room. Even my desk. <laughs> yeah. So the painting's done. I can't wait to get everything else going. So I'm just loving this. But, and you can see everything is, oop, there goes bird. Everything's kind of hazy, but yeah, looks good. I'm pleased with how it turned out. Just have a few more plugs to uh, put.
put back on. Outlet covers, I mean. We got that one and that all done and even this. And then there's Dante. Hello, pup. Yeah. He didn't like the fact that I was in here most of the time. Okay, go, go. Go on, baby. Out. Thank you. So, yeah. It's a lot of fun. So this is a quick, quick vid. Just to show you what I've been doing. And there's more to come. So, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.